Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back to Project Zomboid. If you remember last time, we managed to get this little sheep rope system up. We got some food from the Gigamar and just took a little look around town. So, got a decent, kind of decent amount of food. Maybe not as much as I thought, but um, we can always pick up some more on the way through. I've just dumped some stuff off. Obviously, we're carrying the alarm clock for the actual time in the top left as a lot of you guys told me in the comments from the episode before so thank you very much for that and uh, what we're going to focus on today is actually building some steel walls or maybe starting to build some steel walls and how we're going to do that is we're going to find the bookshop and hopefully hopefully try and get a carpentry for beginners um, book and then the more we barricade the more skill we'll get and that will allow us to build better things hopefully anyway so I think I had to go this way I did a board this up no I didn't right okay um, so you know that should be pretty pretty decent I mean obviously we've got this lovely kind of setup down here with um, a lot of kind of DIY gear and everything like that I'm not too sure why I've zoomed in so much there but just going to take away a few of these stray zeds and uh, I need to try and remember where the actual bookshop is. I um, can't really remember. Oh shit. Let's try and push this one over. Come on. Fuck it. There we go. Right, credit card, digital watch. Maybe we can take that instead of the uh, alarm clock. So, where is this digital watch? Maybe put it in there. So if we put it in there, maybe, and um, what am I doing? Oh, the alarm clock is in my backpack, is it? Yeah, all right, okay, so that's pretty cool. So we can take that, it's slightly lighter, uh, which is decent. Let's have a look what's in here. I'm not even too sure what this is. A lot of stationery and stuff back here. Uh, carpentry for beginners, right, okay, that was a pretty, pretty lucky uh, find. Book, journal, advanced metalwork. Uh, five to six. I suppose we could take that. It's not going to hurt us, but I do need to actually start kind of gathering a lot of these uh, kind of tutorial books and stuff like that just for more late game stuff. First aid for beginners. Might as well take. I think we need to actually read these at separate times, otherwise, it cancels out um, a lot of the experience points because you get an experience boost. It doesn't just teach you it, you have to actually kind of partake in the skill um, that you're actually doing so let's grab this as well that's a fucking gold mine like the, I mean as I said at the beginning of the series I've kind of not played um, West Point for a long time um, right what skill have we actually got in metal work okay so we could probably take that why not um, and we just need some more carpentry ones I think Although we have got the level 1 and 2, and that's generally all we need. There we go. Intermediate. Uh, advanced farming. Metalwork for beginners. Got all that stuff. Trapping for beginners. Farming magazine. Might as well take that. I mean, it's all, you know, light reading material. And um, all good stuff, really. Okay, what else have we got? What do we have in there, then? Electricity. Trapping. A lot of the same books, unfortunately. Uh, fishing for intermediates, I doubt we'll need that. I think the nearest lake's actually up to the north, so um, let's just see what we've got behind this counter. If there's anything decent, nah, nothing good there. Um, I think this actually might be a bank. Maybe we're not even in the bookstore. Oh shit, didn't mean to do that. Okay, is that something on the floor? Looks like. I don't know. Maybe it's just like a sanitary towel packet or something. Can't remember to close these doors. Okay, so I'm just gonna run back and uh, is that a door there? Is this a door? Okay, might as well uh, fill our water bottle from this toilet as we haven't, you know, used this one as much. So I like to freshen it up every now and then. And um, we can just drop these books back. And then I need to start chopping down these trees. In fact, we might as well chop down one of these now, just while it's slightly quieter uh, than it has been. I think a lot of the gunshots actually took a lot of the Zeds up to... Um, where did he take them up to? The farmer hug. 
so that's kind of what we needed really and uh, yeah it's all looking okay for now anyway all right so i've got to go back through it i keep forgetting this kind of intricate i say intricate it's a bit of a shit system but uh i know um oh shit right can i add um i was reading one of the updates the other day and zombies are going to be able to pull down sheep ropes so maybe this wouldn't be as invincible as it is now um it's kind of pretty cool at the moment uh, a lot of you guys have said you've actually used this place as a base before which is uh which is decent so let's just dump all these books off and i think we've got two of the same there but it doesn't really matter i think the shelf's going to take quite a lot Farming magazine there, and advanced metal work. And they can also drop this alarm clock off as well. Still carrying a shit ton of logs though, unfortunately. Okay, so, where's our saw? We even got a saw? Yeah. So let's just get these sawn up, and uh, then we can finish off just barricading that back door, which is what we actually do need to kind of barricade up first. As you can hear, the aggro downstairs is pretty grim. Uh, we've got six planks there, so I could maybe, you know, file a few off on these windows. Uh, I know you guys are probably thinking, read your carpentry book first, because then it's going to boost it, but I actually need to get these two done pretty quickly. But uh, apologies for the slow start to the episode, but unfortunately, you know, these things are going to be done, obviously, in the edited kind of series, where I do the whole intro, which is obviously the survivor's diary, that kind of stuff. Um... You know, it's just just one of them. I, I edit all this kind of shit out, but I thought I'd let you guys see how I actually do get it from kind of point A to point B to point C and so on. Okay, so let's just get one of these carpentry books. I'm actually going to fast forward this because, you know, I feel sorry for you guys just having to, you know, spend 25 minutes with me reading a book. It's taking me a long time though. Look at that shit. Must be a really big book. Surely it's like, just put nail in plank. I'm getting kind of bored. Let's just take a look if it's actually boosting anything. Yeah, so I th maybe that multiplier goes up with the more we read. Haven't got a clue. Was that even going up now? 30, yeah, 1.2. Right, okay, I didn't know that. Right, let's just have a quick bite to eat. Again, we might as well eat. Oh, you can open the candy package. Holy shit. So I've got all like magical shit in there. Five lollipops. Nice. Um, and that's it. So it wasn't really a candy package as much as it was a bag of fucking lollipops. But, you know, whatever. Uh, let's just fill up the pot again. And we'll just take another little drink as well. And uh, we might as well just keep reading this. Again, apologies. The first kind of bit will be slow, but hopefully we can actually get some building in by the end of it. Holy shit. Okay, then planks had literally just fallen off there. I don't know if you guys saw that. I have never, ever seen that happen before. Not once. So that means the downstairs stairs and they've got through there as well which is uh which is worrying but we need to kind of barricade that up quick sharp really okay so that's the maximum of our barricades i think no it's not maybe it's just because we haven't got the correct shit but uh we're gonna have to go down and sort this out now because uh shit's gonna get our hand otherwise holy fuck okay oh shit Okay, let's call them through. I really don't want to go in this room. They all seem to be upstairs. Okay, they've broken through there. I mean, we could put a wood wall there with a steel plate. This is going to be really bad. Fuck. Okay, let's just lower them all down, fucking conga line. Come on. There we go. Oh, one bombs all day. Fuck off. Fuck off. Run. Fuck. Didn't get my distance in right at all then. The first few shots were pretty good, but after that, it was shite. Holy fuck. Alright, are we okay? I mean, obviously we're not okay because, you know, there's... 
a massive open asshole to the back of our base, but um, what to do, what to do. What's our actual commentary looking like now? Let's just remove this bandage quickly. And uh, scratched. Isn't this not the one that was stitched? Uh, maybe not. Maybe not at all, but might as well dump that dirty rag on the floor. Ah, mint candies, they were in the can uh, the pack as well. So we could eat a few of them. You know, it's going to make us slightly happier and probably give us the shits if we eat too many of them. But, you know, again, beggars can't be choosers. And let's just take a quick look at what we've got. So, like on 33, uh, it's not incredible to be honest. Um, we're kind of halfway to our first point. We need two points to actually uh, get shit going properly. I'm gonna have to go to sleep soon as well. I mean, let's just find our next tree. Look at all this rubbish though, Jesus. Fucking bad shit. Okay, let's take them two logs. Okay, decent, so can we just... Yeah, I mean, there are kind of few trees just dotted around, like decorative trees. Another log there, might as well chuck that into our bag, so that gives us nine planks. Um, and I'm just trying to think of a way we could actually kind of bolster the back end of the base up without kind of having to fix this door. I mean, we could make a log. Yeah, in fact, let's do that, right? So, wall, log, wall. I haven't got enough logs, right? So, I need to get another fucking log. So, let's just dump these two logs here. And as I said, I think it was in the last episode, it actually builds from what's in your vicinity. So if there's stuff on shelves and all that, um, you can kind of use that, which is good. You don't have to kind of place everything in your inventory anymore. I think it has been that way for quite a while as well. But uh, we're probably gonna have to touch up the windows with some more barricades if they're getting through that quickly. Again, I've never ever seen that before where the barricades have literally popped off. but. There wasn't even that many Zeds. Um, they're probably slightly stronger now. I really don't know. But uh, yeah, barricade time. Barricade them all off. I mean, I think the log walls are really, really strong. Um, kind of probably the same strength as the metal doors. Okay, right. So let's... Yeah, there we go. Log wall. And we can just place that there. Shit. Okay, come on. All right, awesome. So nothing's getting through there. We might as well pick that plank up as well. And we're going to have to go for a little jog around the other side. Uh, I do plan to head down to the police station again today if I actually get time. Um, let's barricade that as well. Okay, awesome. And let's just get our axe out because we might as well try and... Uh, Find another tree while we're outside, and then you know we can cut up inside the the house, and uh, it's all good. It's all good. It'd be so cool if we could have like a wheelbarrow or something on this, though, where you could maybe put like six, seven log ends in there, and uh, just push that round and drop it. Like kind of Neo Scavenger does that really well. Like you kind of carriages like a shopping trolley would be cool as well. Um, but you know, one of them, isn't it? One of them. Okay, let's just try and get this down. I haven't actually searched that church in front of me. I think it's a church. It could be like some academic building, but I don't know. Okay, awesome. Right, so we're going to have to walk back. Hopefully we don't get ambushed by anything. Because uh, that'd be really, really shit. But, uh, you know, we're decorating the streets. There's now litter and a shitload of dead, rotting bodies as well, which is good. Bit of uh, diversity and, you know, variety there. Which is what we need. Okay, it is getting late though. But uh, I think that back end should now be pretty, pretty solid. I mean, there's another log there as well. I mean, we can't get out, but, you know, can they? I mean, at some stage, when I do get this all kind of metal and all the windows sheeted up as well, um, we can then probably look at maybe even taking the barricades off the apartment door upstairs. Oh, there's something banging there. Right, let's just saw one of these quickly. We'll just add some more uh, barricades to this bit. Okay, in fact, let's just barricade both of them for now. Just get them a tiny bit more solid. And uh, we'll go back and hopefully pick up that log. 
Yeah, there we go. Okay, decent ride. So we've now got a few logs and we're kind of ready to to read the rest of our book, get some sleep and, uh, you know, just see what's what really. Hopefully we can actually learn to climb this fucking rope at some stage. There we go. Okay, so uh, what are we doing? Let's saw all these quickly. I think what I'll do, guys, instead of making you just watch the sleep and sawing the logs, I'll cut back in a second because, you know, even though it did say unedited, it's not really like I'm editing some fucking mad time lapse or something in there. It's just like I'm sawing logs, reading a book, playing my balls and going to sleep. So, one of them. Okay, so I've just woken up and managed to read all the carpentry book last night and I've Got a feeling we could have had a break in downstairs. I'm just trying to kind of check from the angle of the windows, but can't seem to do so. So I'm just going to head down. And yeah, it's this window here. So where are they? There's blatantly one here. So it was one. I actually heard it through the night. Uh, my axe skills are getting pretty fucking good. <laughs> I do say myself. Uh, but we're just going to get these planks. Um, the actual final multiplayer was um, three. So that's pretty good. Three times experience points for that. Just going to grab all our planks and actually fix that up good. Um, and hopefully, you know, they keep breaking through. I'm not too sure if your carpentry skill actually affects how durable your barricades are. If anyone can tell me that, just let me know in the comments. But I uh, really don't have a clue. Okay, so let's head down. I'm going to have to seriously go back to the Gigamart soon as well. We do need ammunition. I was thinking in this episode to maybe head and find a sledgehammer, but fuck that shit. Literally no point in that. Can we remove the broken glass? No. Okay, let's barricade even more. Okay, barricade there as well. Let's just see how that's doing for us. Okay, we've still got a while to go. I mean, it is going to take us a substantial amount of time. It could be worth even maybe just... I don't know. Can we remove the broken glass off that? No. Okay, let's barricade some more. I was thinking of actually making a log wall perimeter, which is something I've done a lot of times. But uh, it might be worth doing all this stuff and just kind of barricading and rebarricading kind of as and when we need to and um, let's just keep barricading until we run out of planks how many we've got left three barricade one more it seems to be coming from this kind of corner here which makes me think this area this way is probably the busiest or the most populated anyway um, but again i will clean all this up we'll throw all the bodies out and uh, we'll get it kind of spick and span it'll look awesome okay um that's fine so let's just eat a mint candy for breakfast. Probably not the best meal to have, but kind of need to run out and do some errands. We'll eat some chips as well, just to get that health. Just round it off, you know, the five a day and all that. Uh, in fact, there might be some fruit in here. Let's, uh, let's eat a banana. That should give you kind of lasting energy. Complex carbohydrate, you know. Right, okay. Right, what else we got? Duct tape, metal bar. We've got so much good shit in there, though. I'm just pretty devastated that there isn't actually a sledgehammer in here. Or not one that I've seen yet, anyway. Um, I mean, there, there's a warehouse down from the Gigamart. Let's just go and fucking... Let's see how busy it is first. And if it's manageable, you know, we can always go down there and see if we can't find a sledgehammer. Okay... There we go, awesome. Right, okay, so let's just go for a little jog. And hopefully the Gigamar isn't kind of overrun. Uh, we did drag a lot of zombies up north last time, so it shouldn't be that much of an issue. Uh, let's just grab some food. Fuck this fruit bullshit. Let's grab the good stuff, guys. Grab some chips. Kind of all the non-perishables, orange soda I don't really need at the moment. Just stick into water. Um, if in doubt, you know, stick to water and uh, candy packages because that's just the way life works. Honey, pepper, chips, candy package. 
I hope we've got like a decent variety of flavors. I mean, I'll take this cupcake now. Let's try and give us an energy boost. I could take some honey. That's pretty good for you, but fuck that shit. Um, some more chips. Again, I think there's a, a garage or a few garages which tend to have food in them as well. So we can always kind of ram raid there. Might as well eat an apple as well. Let's knock ourselves out. Chips and chocolate. The magic stuff, guys. The magic stuff. So a decent supply of food there. And uh, definitely heard a Zed then. Definitely, definitely heard a Zed. Just not too sure where from. Uh, right, there we go. Are they both dead? No, they are not. Okay. Alright, so I think we've got Spiffo's pub. Oh no, Twiggy's pub up here. Spiffo's is a restaurant. Uh, so we could always just jump in here and see if we can find some shotgun shells and then the gun store's just up ahead. But uh, again, this is a pretty good base because you can kind of build a decent perimeter around it as well. Um, it seems like we've had some kind of lock in here. Uh, so we can't get through the fucking doors, so that's just magical. Right, let's keep going. There we go. I say doors, I meant windows, you know. Look at that sheet of paper. Oh, fuck. Fucking toilet dweller. I don't want any perfume, fuck off. There we go. Oh, shit, there's heads outside now as well. Okay, let's just... This is the bit we actually want to check, just through here. Pool cue, orange, fuck it. Let's get some vitamins, electric wire, golf club hammer, sledgehammer, get in. Right, that is that is major, major luck to get that shit. We might as well take the shovel as well, actually, uh, just in case we need to move any dirt. But uh, for any of you guys who've played for more than maybe, I don't know, maybe like three or four months. Or in fact, if anyone's ever played, the sledgehammer is quite, quite rare. That's this one. Sit down, love. Sit down. Right, so we should be able to get a really, really nice amount of ammunition. Uh, provided that uh, we don't get absolutely fucking ambushed through here. But let's just break in and see what we can do. Okay, so sledgehammer. I mean, that I might even be able to knock my apartment across. Um... Right, in fact, let's destroy that bit. Oh shit, how do we do it? I think we've got to destroy that first, just take the roof tiles off. To actually get to that bit, and then we can destroy the actual panel. Of the kind of armoured grate. And then we can take this down as well. Very nice. But yeah, I could actually maybe just do some really decent stuff with the sledgehammer, as I was just saying. Um, It'd be kind of nice to knock the apartment through and have like a whole just amazing thing. It'd be awesome. Right, so what have we got? Master Metalwork will take. I mean, I don't know how far the series is going to go on. You guys seem to be enjoying it. I'm really actually enjoying filming it a lot more than I thought I would. And I don't mean that in a harsh way, but I prefer to do the edited stuff normally. But I really do like this. But don't worry, that will be coming back. And uh, we've got a hunting rifle back now as well, which is good stuff. Let's just take all these rounds. Oh shit, we can't even take all these rounds. Shotgun shells, take the scope as well as we've got a screwdriver. Take that, take that. Take that, I'll take a recoil pad, we'll take the varmint rifle. Let's just have everything. Shotgun shells, we'll take a hunting knife. Awesome weapon, absolutely awesome weapon. Bullets, bullets, bullets. Bullets, just so many. It's just like orgasm time, boys. It's fucking orgasm time. Let's just have an ammo gasm. Um, and maybe I'll to try the sniper rifle out. I think the pistol is probably the best way, as I found out in the last series, to actually um, to more or less gain um, experience points in shooting. As far as I know, let's see how we're doing on the carpentry. I'm uh, 52, so that should come up soon. I don't know how good we are at shooting either. Um, where is that shit? Firearm. So our aiming's not even that bad. I think we need to get it to at least level 2 before we start using the rifles properly. Um, but we've really got some decent stuff there. I mean, 
how many we've got eight boxes of shells there's more shells back there as well so i can do another run uh, next time we've got a sledgehammer as well uh, and it's uh, it's starting to look good again providing that i don't get ambushed on the way back because that would be really really shit okay this is taking a long time we've got that whole fat man i mean look at the gut is that a gut or are they like i don't know i don't really sure if it's a gut or not okay let's uh let's just take these two out can't be arsed with them following me heavy screams in the background then one of them yeah so i'd say one of them might still be alive Pretty sure if you hit something with an axe, I know like the last blood spray is awesome, you know the way it goes everywhere, but I'm pretty sure the first one would be pretty fucking graphic as well. Um, not like some blade expert or anything. Um, okay, let's keep going. Look at that, three or eight bullets, we've got five. Okay, we've just got a skill point for something there. That's what that noise is. I normally turn them noises off, but all right, we've got one in sprinting. Okay, cool. So now we can sprint while we're fully fat, which is uh, which is nice, you know, it's a, it's a good thing to have. How the fuck did I get into this base? I've barricaded that up. Oh yeah, fuck, I went round. I actually shit myself there, I thought I'd lock myself on my base, which is uh, which is massively worrying. But uh, let's just head round again. But yeah, I was actually thinking of sledgehammering this top part maybe again we need to get the metal work done downstairs but then we've got like a, a big extended just rooms to kind of store stuff and you know a lot of you guys have been asking me to build a bridge to the supermarket as well as that's, that's a two floor building uh, or it has a ground floor and a first floor and uh, i think that's an idea that i might actually go for once we get into proper carpentry but again the beginning stuff is quite slow and um you know we need to we need to just calm down on it at the moment and uh, just gather all the shit we can. So we've got decent food, decent weapons now as well. I might actually take the pistol out for a spin in a bit as well, simply because, you know, there's no real point using the pistol. I mean, it is a good, good weapon. Have we actually filled that already? Shit, let's take the sheet and the undies out the varmint in there, shit, we can't even put the varmint rifle in, uh, what about the boxes around, can we get them in yeah, we can get them in, can we get at least the scope and what about the wasn't there a recoil pad somewhere All right. holy shit, we've got way too much ammo, there's no such thing as way too much ammo, but I hope you know what I mean All right, so we're going to have to stash some stuff in here as well, might actually move all the stuff into there at some stage, but it can kind of hold off for now and we'll put the sledgehammer in there as well and the shovel again really really decent equipment there really really good equipment some more ammo there and again i will go back get the other stuff but yeah just kind of really really looked out there which is nice nice to see it happen for once i mean we looked out in the first episode and then it kind of spun around on us when you know the whole uh, soft reset thing happened with the the new build but yeah, Beggars can't be choosers. I know I've said that like loads of times, but um, we're doing well. We are doing well here. Okay, um, sheet and underwear. Can we rip that? Yeah. Might as well rip that and uh, we'll rip that as well. Just to boost up our ripped sheet catalogue there. And uh, we forgot to chuck the varmint in. So let's just chuck that to there. But yeah, we're looking good. We're looking really, really good. So what I'm going to do just quickly to end the episode is we might go out and might as well go out rather and have a quick spin with the pistol. Chuck my axe in there as well. So let's open all these. Again, that's a really, really fucking bad idea. But, you know, because uh, it just means you're just carrying too much shit. Okay, and we'll equip that as primary. Let's reload that shit, take some beta blockers and uh, start start the clearing. Uh, we can actually chuck our hammer in the back there and one of the water balls. Not that it's going to make that much difference. I mean, it's just going to lighten us slightly, but um, I think in my last series, what I actually did was um, 
I used a lot of mods in that series because I think the mods for this game are like tremendous, like the community mods, but uh, the suppressor mod's probably the best one I've come across. Like really, really good. And I assume once the uh, the animations come in as well, there's gonna be a lot more mods. Okay, so let's just try and shoot these. Fuck. It's, it, this isn't me having a really bad aim. Well, it kind of is me having a really bad aim. But... Basically, um, for anyone who's trying to learn how to use the pistol, if you move, chances of hitting are really bad. If you stay still and uh, actually aim across, fucking hell. Best pistol tutorial ever, guys. Seriously good. But uh, that should have actually upped my aiming skill a bit. Uh, where are we? I can't even... Yeah, aiming 33.75, but not incredibly bad. We might as well just take a few of these strays out. We have still got the police station as well. Fuck. Okay, let's just uh, let's just reload. Fuck. Okay, um, I am actually using this as like a training weapon. I mean, if I did need to do any real damage, I could just go outside. Fuck. With the uh, with the shotgun, which I might have to do in a minute, as we've uh, kind of put this off. Fuck it, right? How many uh, how many shells have we even got left? Forty-eight rounds, quite a bit. Fuck. Right, I just need to get somewhere I could stay still. Fucking hell. I mean, it just takes so long. Right. Right, we need to, uh, I'm just going to take some more beta blockers and see if that has any effect. Let's just reload as well. Again, my aim is still on the character is shit. But uh, I suppose if we bunch them up, we kind of can't miss. Fuck. Just got to be really careful not to get caught by these and not lead them back to my base either. I know I am kind of shooting and shitting on my own bed at the moment, but... Oh, fuck. Right, we could have an issue here. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. Well, let's back up and just see if we can just kill a few. Fuck this, I'm getting the shotgun, guys. Um, kind of not point proven whatsoever. I was going to say, you know, oh, you get your aiming skill up and it was all going to be okay. And having said that, we are nearly at level one. We're on like kind of 52 now, so maybe we should just keep going for a sec. Um, I mean, it is a really risky way, oh, for fuck's sake. Um, really risky way of doing stuff, but I don't know. Really, really don't know. Look at this one sliding around on this one. Fucking hell. Okay, just just take a few out every time. Uh, oh shit, we're out of ammo. Okay, skills. Alright, let's, let's just go and get the shotgun and just everyone's problems are going to be solved. Uh, maybe not mine though, because they could get led back to my base, as I said, but right, let's just get that back. And uh, we need to just pop through here and uh, just chill out uptown. Uptown, like upstairs, upstairs. But uh, I'm just going to grab this ammo, sort my shit out, and uh, we'll run back around because we're going to need to sort this out before we settle down. I'm just going to remove these curtains because I think they've managed to break through the DIY shop and this has become an incredibly stupid... Oh, what am I doing, mate? Uh, remove curtains. Right, we need to 
craft these into sheep ropes. And let's just add the sheep rope there. Okay. Hopefully they don't actually get in because I need to kind of flank around them. Holy shit. Alright, come on. I need to tr test out my earbud theory as well. Okay, let's just get that going. We do actually need some food as well, off topic. You know, but uh, we do need some food. Okay, we need some more beta blockers, I think. Because we're reloading like someone who's trying to reload a fucking gun with their feet. But I'm just going to try and maul these away, maybe back up north again. Um, I mean, it does kind of mean that they are always here, but as long as they're not by my base so I can operate in the close vicinity, then I suppose that's fine. Okay, let's just keep reloading what we got shells wise. 26, 25 left. Okay, I just don't want to get caught. I mean, they're coming from different angles. It's kind of getting to dusk, I suppose. I'll probably start once my uh, aiming gets better as well. Um, I'll probably start using the proper shotgun. Um, not this kind of scuzzy pirate one. Right, let's just take a quick look. What was that? Aiming. Right, okay, let's see if this makes any difference. I mean, we have actually managed to get it. Nope. Fuck off, mate. Just pure knockback and nothing else. Right, we need to also stand still to open up another box of shells. Is this... No, I thought that was the gas station. I think I made the same mistake last time, but... Got to be cautious of these trees because they got kind of blindsided us. Okay, come on. Fuck. I need to reload. Oh shit. Right, there's quite a few of these as well. Let's just go around the alley, try and lose a few of them. I got a laundromat there again. I've forgotten a lot of West Point. Um, I know that there are kind of these kind of permanent fixtures like the farm looks really good and they uh, may even go the mall at some stage I mean kind of pointless at the moment because we've got everything we need in fact it's extremely pointless to even go in there unless we were trying to clear it which I have done uh, maybe two or three times me and Bill did it as well which was like one of the most fun experiences I've had on the game um, but that was awesome you know Check round us. Come on. Right, let's just reload again and just do a, uh, a shell count. Right, 21, we're alright. And I think I've still got another, well, really decent amount of boxes in the other drawer as well, because obviously I had to pack into two drawers. Fuck. Okay, but yeah, we've kind of, we took out quite a few. I mean, if you look at the density of the, the hordes, we're not hitting everything, but I think that's because it's sawn off, you know. Chances are that they're pretty slim, but it'd be good when we use like the rifle, we can get on the roof and use that. Or I can build like a, a sniper perch. Um, I actually found that out by mistake again in one of the videos with Bill. Um, we were just kind of sniping off the top, and uh, that was just fucking awesome. Okay, come on. I really do need to loop around. Let's just take a look. Yeah, we've got a, a big fucking conga line going there. Massive, massive fucking conga line. But let's try and get into this kind of open space. Just find. Right, we have got an exit. I thought that was blocked off. But uh, maybe if we go down here. Let's just push this one away. Okay. Right, my 
shoot's getting really shit. I think the uh, beta blockers are starting to wear off. Oh, shit, right, we just need a bit of space just to do this. Come on, open up. Right, take some more beta blockers. Again, with the farm hug being so close, beta blockers aren't really an issue either. Um, this should be like a lifetime's worth in there. Okay, let's open one more box. Okay, and uh, are we looking? Looking pretty scatty, to be honest. So uh, let's just take them up here. Let's just smash a window. Okay, that's cool. Diversion tactics. Hopefully that's going to draw a lot of them. Uh, and I'm just going to have to take the kind of long way home, I think. Uh, and we should be able to just kind of head back safe and sound. How many did we even kill then? I mean, how many did we kill? We've killed 184. We've only been alive for three and a half days. Well, kind of three and two thirds of a day. Um, but, you know, we should be alright. That alarm's done me a massive favour. Another tip, guys. If in doubt, shoot a window. And, uh, I mean, that was extremely lucky for that to actually just go off like that and the alarm go off because, you know, that's exactly what you want to happen. Fuck off, mate. Fuck, let's just, let's just stamp this one out. Come on. Fuck off. Ah, shit, 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 shit. There's still fucking loads of them. Ah, fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Right. Um, might have to find another way upstairs. I got some sets outside. Oh shit, there's no room through here. Fuck. Right, we could have actually just shit on ourselves there a bit. Okay, let's just keep running around. Fuck, fuck, fuck. What about around the back? Um. So we block that off so we can't really get through there. I'm sure I put another sheep rope somewhere. And I haven't got my axe with me either. Uh, shit. Oh yeah, I did put another sheep rope. Where was it? I think it was right there, but I can't see it, unfortunately. Um, right, okay. Oh, fuck. This is bad. Right, so maybe we should run to Twiggies, possibly. Oh, we haven't got any food on us either. There should be some peanuts and stuff in Twiggies. We might have to spend the night there until it dies down. Um, and then go back and maybe do a bit more clearing kind of in the morning. But yeah, pretty, pretty bad. I can always stop up at the gun store for some more stuff as well. So that's not too bad. Is there a stool or anything in here? I mean, we have got some food, which is nice. Okay, let's just close this door over and I think we can uh, can actually sleep somewhere here, maybe? i got some more shotgun shells there, we'll take them. I'm an opportunist, you know. Plank there as well, awesome. I mean, we could plank off one of the windows, pretty pointless at the moment. But again, this is why you should always keep kind of two hideouts because you just never know. Oh, pinball machine, awesome. I can't turn it on. Uh, that's a disappointment. Take some more shotgun shells. So how many are we carrying at the moment? We've got three boxes and 51 shells. I mean, that should be enough to kind of fire us all the way home, really. Um, I mean, provided we actually survive the night, because I'm going to have to stay up here. Oh, no, shit, no, I'm not at all. all right. Let's um, pick up this wooden chair. And we should be able to place this behind the bar, and then that's just got two doors worth of safety there. Um, let's just place that shit. Okay, and we can just sleep on the chair, and you know, just chill out for the night. That's going to be going to be really good for us. There's not actually that much food in there. Um, but, you know, there's a bit more food in the fridge in there if need be. And I might actually look in the future to planking just the windows up of this place. Um, nothing as serious as the food market's going to be, providing it's still intact when we get back. And, uh, you know, we can from there just 
um, have two little bases if we need to run from point A to point B, like's just happened there. I actually thought I'd got that right in kind of using the alarm as like a kind of law, but uh, unfortunately we didn't, and there's a few stragglers that caught upon, and then the kind of snowball effect hit us pretty badly, but again, what can you do, guys? What can you do? A few mistakes, but did pretty well. We got a lot of food, a lot of weapons, a lot of ammunition, and we've actually started bumping up a lot of our skills as well so pretty decent so we'll leave it here guys as always thank you very much for watching and i will see you soon